Hey guys, um, I am at work right now, hence the headphones, so please ignore it. I have to be ready in case a call comes in, so I, I have to keep my headphones on, and if I cut out quickly, it'll be because a call came and I've got to quickly like pause it and then do my job and then come back to the video. But this video is a little bit overdue, so I just wanted to get it out there. I decided to be smart this time and not put a whole bunch of makeup on so I chose not to fill my face up and just put just a little bit so I don't feel so naked and I'm going to do a review of one two three four five six more pairs of color CL contacts and this goes along with my giveaway and the first video showing you some of the different colors that they have so if you haven't watched my giveaway video what it is is you comment, you subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and comment on this video or the giveaway video, or both for two entries, on which pair of contacts you like the best. It doesn't necessarily have to be one that I've shown, it can be any one from their website as well, I think I forgot to mention that. And once I hit 1700 subscribers, I think, did I say 1700? I'm pretty sure I did because I've lost some subscribers because of everything that's been going on. Once I get back up to whatever number I'd said on the giveaway video in the comments is when I'm going to do a drawing and we'll choose three people to send out a contacts of their choice from Color CL. So first of all, I just wanted to share this beautiful case that they sent me. So if you remember my last video, I had an orange case that had stars that kind of flowed down. Excuse me, I just really badly painted my nails on my lunch break. So my nails are horrible um, but anyway uh, they sent me an orange one and that one was gorgeous and it was like liquidy this one's not liquidy but it is equally as gorgeous it is this beautiful like spectrum of colors uh, rainbow effect whatever and um, it's on a blue glitter background and this is a contact lens set so inside it's got a mirror, it's got your case, the um, the little suction thing, and the tweezers, which is really, really adorable. And these cases are just so beautiful. I mean, they're a good price anyway. These are usually about $7, I believe. But they are just, they're so beautiful for the price. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. So on to the contacts now. <clears throat> Firstly, I'm going to try another set of glitter contacts. So these are the Pearl Forest. Now the Pearl, let me get my box ready here. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, now the Pearl series um, has got glitter in the lenses. They're very, they're very beautiful and they're very unique. Um, you cannot feel the glitter on your eye. It's, you know, inside the lens where the color is. You can see the shimmer and the glitter, and I think that these are just gorgeous. This um, Pearl Forest, sorry, my kitty cat's trying to get in the way. This Pearl Forest is more of a ring around your eye. These would look good, I think, if you've got colored eyes, which I do not. Um, I don't have beautiful, you know, like blue eyes or green eyes to where something like a rim around would look good. Um, these are beautiful. I don't know if that helps any. So there we go. Um, so these contacts now, they, they have got shimmer around it. And if you've got colored eyes, like I said, these would really highlight your eyes and make your eyes really, really pretty. They're good for a touch of color, but not good if you want full coverage. Obviously, as you can see, they don't fully cover your eye. So, um, I'm a little disappointed in these just because I really like full coverage and these unfortunately are not, but they are still beautiful and they would definitely, oh my God, I can imagine if somebody had like green eyes or blue eyes and they wore these, these would be the most beautiful thing ever. Next, I'm going to try the Romance Khaki. 
the um these have got like a green ring ring sorry i'm backtracking i like to wear least favorite to most favorite except for the last video i did because i was so excited about the mandarin i did it reversed and i did my most favorite and then down to my least favorite but um these are the romance khaki sorry there goes my makeup I'm just gonna take this off I don't even know why I bothered putting anything on I should know myself by now uh, and they've got a green ring around them and so I like these more and more the more I try them on I think that they're a lot prettier after I you know kind of got used to the color I don't know what I expected when I ordered them I think I expected them to be more of like a green green color like a grayish green color but they're not but they are a really pretty kind of like a sky blue color and I've been looking for a good blue and so these are these are really nice I actually really like these more than I did when I first got them let me move my camera a little bit so aside from the watery eyes these are beautiful beautiful contact lenses the romance line is my favorite line they have got the most coverage and they are just the most beautiful contacts um, in my opinion that the company has I mean once you get past the the glitter you know the the wow there's glitter contacts as far as coverage and beauty goes they these just can't be beat So now this pair is the Creamy Luna, and I know that there was at least one comment on my giveaway where somebody was interested in the Creamy Luna, so I'm going to try these on. These, um, the company chose these for me based on what I like. Um, the person I was talking to, they picked these out for me, and um, these are really pretty. These are kind of like a cross between... Um, dupes of Solotica Crystal or Crystal and um, these are like a cross between those and blue contacts so these are like a, a dreamy creamy sky blue color they're like a gray blue cornflower kind of color um, you know of course contacts kind of look different on everybody I've seen pictures where these look bluer and I've seen pictures where they look whiter so on me this is what they look like and they are pretty you can't see them too well but you can definitely see them and um, I think these are like a gorgeous thing when I look right here in the mirror they look kind of steel gray to me so they are they are a really nice color <clears throat> but not one of my favorites only because this company just I mean color CL has so many so many beautiful colors it's really hard to stand out so so far nobody has beat mandarin in my eyes this is romance green i said in, in my last video i wanted to go a little bit more natural so i started looking for greens and like brown and just things that weren't so zombie looking in your face I guess um, and these are really really pretty I really really like these because um, this isn't like a, a lime green color and being from the romance line of course the siesta this is what it looks like um, you just know that they're gonna be absolutely beautiful and they are um, let me dry my eyes a little bit I'm sorry the kittens are playing next to me so if you hear them they're not fighting they're just playing so these I think look really natural these um, these are like a natural kind of green and they fade into like a an olive green in the middle that fades into your pupil so it's like it got a green ring that turns into a different shade of green that turns into still a different shade of green and then there's your pupil 
And so if you've got brown eyes, green usually, green and hazel look very, very natural on brown eyes. And these are no exception. I think that these could pass, especially from a distance, these could pass as natural, you know, my natural color. If you could see how gorgeous that actually is. These are so, so pretty. And I don't know why I haven't actually worn these more. I think I'm going to start wearing these a little bit more. I've just been so in love with the Mandarin that I haven't really given the other ones much of a shot. But these, I actually really like these. I like these a lot. So this one is honey. <laughs> so I usually don't ever, ever wear contacts that just make my eyes look brown. I don't like it. I don't see any reason to. I want to change my eye color. I've got brown eyes. I don't want anything that's brown. Then I found these. So these are supposed to be honey, which would bring to mind just a light brown color. But the reviews that I read, people didn't like them, just like they didn't like the Mandarin because they actually said that instead of honey, these are more yellow. And that's true. These actually are more yellow than honey. If you could see that color, that is a yellow contact. And so of course I had to try it <laughs> because it was something unusual, but you know, if it didn't work out, then it would look, you know, a little bit more natural, which is what I kind of wanted to try out. And I love this color. I put these on and Josh was just like, whoa, that is yellow <laughs> and um, I think these are cool as hell so if anybody I mean it's probably gonna be too late for Halloween but if anybody wanted these for like cosplay or Halloween or anything like that and you were looking for a good natural ish looking yellow contact I would say definitely get these now these are not from the um, the black line the romance or the black these are just regular siesta so this is Siesta Honey. And this is what they look like up close. So as you can see, they are yellow, but you know, they're cool. Like, I think that they're cool. I really like these. These are gorgeous in my opinion. Like they're, they're unique and it's like a brown, but it's not like, looking at them here in my mirror they are like crayon yellow and they're definitely enough to take notice of but not something you'd see across the room and be like what is that you you'd have to be kind of like in my face to notice that they're yellow and once you're there it's like huh that's interesting so i really 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 like these especially for the unique and interesting aspect of them Now my last pair, I'm really ha happy with because, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little sick. I'm really happy with because I've been wanting to share this other pair for a while and I had no reason to do so. I got a pair from um, Pinky Paradise earlier in the year and I really, really like them. They're, they're the romance, or not romance, sorry, they're the um, Eurasia line. And so this is the Eurasia one that's got a blue ring and a brown metal. And Color CL have their own version of this. Unfortunately, I don't like them as much as the Pinky Paradise because they're not as pigmented, but they do look more natural and they are more comfortable. The Pinky Paradise, I want to wear those so bad, but I could feel them on my eye and after like a couple of minutes my eyes start to get real heavy and they just feel suffocated so these are the romance india from color cl and i'm going to show you what these look like and then i'm going to take one off and i'm going to show you what the color or the pink paradise one looks like and then i'll put on the other one so you can see both so that is a striking and beautiful contact i do i do love this pair i haven't really found a pair from color CL that I've tried yet that I don't like that I I'm like I'm not gonna wear those 
I like every single pair, some more than others, one at the very top, but all of them to a certain degree I really like. And these are beautiful. I feel like this other one is inside out now, but it doesn't look like it is. The problem also is that with Lucifer, I mean, I brush him and stuff, but his hair is literally everywhere. And so as soon as I open the contact case, I've got little white hairs just, just in the air. And so sometimes they get into my contacts and that doesn't feel good at all. That really hurts. Um, and I do, you know, I do rinse and wash my contacts and I hold them with my finger and scrub at them, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's nearly impossible. So I just have learned to live with the cat hair the best I can. So this is Romance India. So this is, especially I think when you back off a little bit, these are really pretty too. I really, really like these. Again, another pair that I haven't really given a chance to. Um, so that's one of those off. And I will show you the Pinky Paradise one. So you can see right away, it's got a lot more pigmentation, but these are more like costume lenses, I guess, than everyday, all day wear lenses. That's what they feel like. They're just thicker, but huh? Well, will you look at that? I have not put them on side by side until now. And I thought that the Pinky Paradise was far more pigmented, but it's actually not. The blue on the outside is deeper. And that's really about it. Wow, I'm impressed. This is a Pinky Paradise. And this is Color CL. So they even do cheap versions, cheaper versions of cheap versions um, better. So this actually, I actually don't like this better than this. Like I thought I did. This, wow, this is the first time I put these on since I got these. So. This has got a much bigger eye hole, which I don't like. I like tighter pupil holes because to me it makes it look more natural. And this has got a bigger hole in the middle. And this doesn't. Uh, the only thing that I would say I like better is that this has got a darker blue limbo ring. A very vibrant, very blue ring. And this is a bit more faded because it's a bit more natural looking. Wow. When you look at that, I am like, wow, that is awesome because I love these contacts so much. I I have another pair from them that's like a really pretty like green in your face green, but it's it's the same as these. I can't wear them for long because they hurt because they're thick. Wow. Um I'll take this one off so you can see both Pinky Paradise together. Then I'm going to pause it while I'm here and I, I might as well just show you the green one since I don't have any other occasion to show you. So that's both of those together. And um, you guys probably recognize I've worn these in some photos. All I've been able to do is put these on for very short amounts of time in my pictures and then I've always got to edit the pupil. And um, now I don't have to because now I've got a pair of contacts that I can actually wear that are better. Whoa, I'm freaked out about that. That is awesome. So this is, yeah, I don't think I'll be wearing the Pinky Paradise anymore. I don't have a reason to. That has just blown my mind. Literally blown my mind, in case you haven't noticed. I mean, Pinky Paradise is good. There's nothing wrong with them, but Color CL has, they've blown everybody out of the water. You know, they, they've they just knocked it right out of the park. And no, they don't pay me to say that or anything. That's honestly what I think and what I feel. Um, so I'll just show you this last pair from uh, Pinky Paradise. Now, I need to find a Color CL version of these, as I'm sure they will have something. Uh, because these are really nice green. These are like a greeny yellow with the brown in the center but they're thick they're thick and they're not comfortable and I don't think that they look very realistic 
like they can't even really pass because a people hole is so big so when i wear my mask and i'm like this in public it doesn't look good you know it 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 doesn't look natural at all so i just don't wear these and um i need to find a version of these i wonder hmm all right i'm gonna try on a uh, the forest that I tried on earlier the green because I was like it's got a green ring around it and green on the inside and that's exactly how I described this so I probably already have a dupe and I just didn't even realize it and I think that I do wow it's got the same setup this is you know this is color CL obviously this is the romance line, which is a very, very natural line. Um, it's got the dark ring. It's got the dark ring. It's got a lighter green on the inside fading into the people hole. Lighter green fading to the people hole. Look at the difference, though. Look at how fake that looks. It doesn't even sit right on my eye. And then look at this. Look at this beautiful contact. You can see from here. I could wear a mask. <laughs> I'm so glad I made this video because I was like, I really want a beautiful green contact, but I don't want it to look so Halloween fake. And no offense to Pinky Paradise, they've never done me wrong or anything, but... <laughs> wow. Wow. Like, I am... My mind is freaking blown right now. That is so cool. Like... That is so cool. Oh my god, I can't wait to get another another shipment from them. That, like, I just want to try everything, and I'm going to share everything with you guys. And, like, bring you along on my journey of discovering the best contacts that have ever been made. <laughs> that are affordable, honestly. They are just... Jeez. I, I mean, I know I'm, like, probably freaking out a little too much over them, but I've... I'm telling you, when I had, before I had my LASIK, I, I couldn't wear contacts. I couldn't afford them because my eyesight was just so bad. I couldn't, I couldn't wear contacts. And after LASIK, I still had to wait another six months. And then when I finally was able to wear contacts, I, I couldn't really afford anything. I mean, and then I went to Pinky Paradise and I got those and I was happy with them, but I wasn't happy with them because they didn't feel good. And then finding Color CL, I just stumbled across them one day, ordered from them, my mind was blown, and I just, like, I had lists and lists up of what I wanted to try whenever I got more money, and I just had to scrimp and scrounge, and then was finally able to get it, and, I mean, I've talked with them, I've given them reviews, I've done the videos, and I'm like, I've told them, you know what, you guys are such a great company that... I just, I really want to help get the word out. Like, I think you deserve more recognition. I mean, they've got recognition. They probably don't need me, but I, when I find something I really love, I really love it. And so like, I really love them. And for someone like me who usually can't afford contacts, it's just, um, I don't know. It's just one of those things that unlike other people, I just never got to experience. It was the same with hair dye. And um, when I bleached my hair, I lost all my hair and it's barely growing back now. The front is shorter than the back. The front is only, it's like right past my armpits, but the back is like about that far from my waist now. And this is all my hair. This isn't a wig or anything. This is all me. So I'm, I mean, it's still not like hugely healthy. I still dye it black, but you know, whatever. Off topic. Um, in case you guys are wondering about my job and how I'm able to work and make a video by the way i've got these awesome razor headphones i love these headphones so much these are the um this is the razor kraken pro i'm gonna use a pro it's the expensive ones because it's got the side lining and it's got like i mean i could hear myself through here um these headphones are freaking awesome but what I do is I work for ADT. I wanted to make a separate video about this, but I'm not going to. I'll just add it on here. So if anybody's curious and wants to hear me blab, you can hear it. But what I do, basically, I'm like an operator. I love this job so much. This is like my dream job. So I say, um, like, 
Thank you for calling ADT Security Services. My name is Raven. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? And then they tell me their name. I ask them if they need home or business. They tell me home or business, and usually it's a home. And then I say, you know, like, in order to best assist you and get you to the right department, can I get the reason for your call? And they'll say, like, add-on or start services or billing, whatever it is. And I say, okay, give me one moment and I'll transfer you. And then I type in the number and I transfer them, and that is my entire job. So sometimes it goes a while between calls. Like right now, it has been an hour and six minutes since I've had a call. Other times it's boom, 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 back to back without a break. Um, sometimes I get to sleep in between calls. I mean, you can kind of do whatever. There's nothing to really do while you're waiting. And um, it pays 15 an hour. So this is like the cushiest, dreamiest job. And I've only been here. I've been here about a month now, by now. Because I'm, I'm about to get paid my second check. I get paid every two weeks. So I've been here, yeah, just about a month. Um, this is, I mean, this is a dream. I would love to stay here. I would love to become a trainer. I've picked up on the job. I think I pretty much know everything, well, most everything, not everything. You know, I, I know a lot. Um, I feel confident. I don't feel anxious or nervous or scared. I don't, I don't feel all wrapped up and fearful and when I've gotten angry customers I don't feel that anxiety that I felt with Apple I don't feel like I'm gonna have a breakdown and run to the other room and cry like I literally did with Apple I, I ran to the bathroom and cried um, with that job plenty of times I'd wake up and just dread going to work and I don't feel like that anymore I'm just like you know I, I'm not scared of the customers here at all and the only downside is that it's like a contract job, so it's every three months, and if they don't need the position anymore, then they're going to close it, and I won't have a job. But, I mean, while I can, I'm not turning it down. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to stay as long as I can. And uh, I've wanted the chance to talk about it, but that's obviously not worth making a whole video about. So, if you listen this far, thank you for listening. Um, but I appreciate you being here. Um, again, not, not to get off topic, um, please enter the giveaway. I'm just trying to be nice. I thought more people would have commented or written me and some have, but not as many as I thought. You really don't stand to lose anything. You can get a free pair of contacts. There's not many entries right now, so you do have a great chance of winning. I don't know if a lot of people are just waiting until I get closer to my goal number to enter, but I will keep reminding you guys with every video to subscribe and to follow and once I hit the number again, I'm not trying to get to an unrealistic number. I just want to get my last amount of subscribers back. I mean, I've got to aim for something myself, a personal goal. And I just kind of want to up my count just a little bit more to give me a reason to keep posting content. I'm not trying to be like a content creator. I'm not trying to make YouTube my job or anything like that. I just do it for fun. But if you've got no audience, then there's really no fun in it. So I just want to make sure people are still there, still listening, and kind of offer you something for being there. And that's all I'm trying to do. So um, again, <laughs> subscribe, follow my Instagram, and tell me which pair you like the best, and you will go into the drawing. You can enter, actually, any time I make a Color CL video, if you comment on that, you will go into the drawing. Even if I didn't mention this before, I will add you to the drawing if you have commented in the other videos, any video I make, because it kind of looks like um, it's going to take me longer than I thought to get to that goal because I've actually lost subscribers, not gained them, which is really weird how that works out. But um, yeah, uh, if I ever get up to the number I wanted to and I do it, it, it might be a while. So um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still, I'm not going to withdraw it because whoever has already entered, they deserve a chance to win. So even if nobody else enters and there's like five people, then you know what? Three of those will be winners. So there you go. Better for them, right? Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and waste more of your time. I got to get back to work and I will see you guys next video. Hopefully I will have another Color CL haul coming up. Um... I'm going to try to do one every month if I can and um, get you guys, you know, to see the different colors. Once I complete different series, I'm going to have like the pearl series, the 
um, black romance series. I'm going to do each series as a separate video, so there might be repeats, but I think that way it'll be organized a bit better. I have not done it like that so far because I don't have complete series yet, but once I do, I will, I will remake the videos and organize them so that, you know, if you're interested in what, like, the Pearl series looks like, you could just look at one video, or if you want to know what the you know, the Black Romance series looks like, you can just look at those videos. And um, hopefully in a few months, I'll have gotten most of the comments, uh, contacts that they have, and I'll be able to share them with you. And good luck with the um, entries if you guys decide to enter. And if not, I totally understand. You don't owe me anything. But thanks for watching anyway, and I will see you guys next video.